That is Journey, Muskegon's 100.9. It is 8.23 on your Thursday. It's Andy O. A couple of weeks ago, we had a chance to meet Roger Rappaport, who produced a uh, movie that you see, the posters and everything all around town. It's called Pilot Error. It is, uh, had quite a run in and around town, and uh, Roger kind of impressed me afterwards because the guy really knows pretty much everything that's going on as far as entertainment in and around Muskegon. And uh, I said, hey, why don't you come on back and uh, make a feature out of you? How you doing? Great. Good yeah? to be back. I'm glad to have you, man. It's exciting to see you, and this uh, list of events that you brought in is, is unbelievable. Let's start with uh, a little bit of a preview of what we're going to talk about. Well, each week we're going to highlight uh, events that you might otherwise miss. We're not just going to do the uh, top things that get the most attention, but ones that are really worth a closer look. And I'm going to quickly summarize. Sleeper hits. Uh, what we're going to recommend okay. today for All this right. weekend. Let's hear it. Uh, six dance lessons in six weeks at uh, Muskegon Civic Theater. Um, at the Harbor Theater, I want to recommend St. Vincent, which is now, I think, in its sixth week. Mm. At Cinema Carousel, Selma for Martin Luther King's birthday, definitely a must. Um, those of you with kids uh, who are really looking for something fun on a snow day, um, this Saturday at the Hackley Library, uh, 1030, there's a beginning crochet class. Mm. Kids will love it. Um, I love the book Nook and Java Shop. Uh, Friday night, the Knickknacks, a terrific group. That's uh, up in that's up in Montague. Montague, yep. Um, and uh, you can't beat the price here. First Presbyterian Church in Grand Haven, uh, one of the best music acts in the state. Um, from right here in our area, Ruth and Max Bloomquist, and worth the gas. Uh, Christopher Titus, the comedian at uh, the Wealthy Theater in Grand Rapids. Okay. Now, let's go back just for a second. Um, I want to briefly tell you a little bit about Judy Johnson, who is uh, starring with Brian Engler at Six Dance Lessons in Six Weeks. She's no stranger uh, to the Muskegon community. She's um, directed Muskegon Civic Theater, uh, and she's also been an actress and and a director herself. Talk about the play a little bit. What is This is a great play. It involves a couple, and I don't want to give away too much about it except... um, this woman decides to hire a dance instructor mm. and uh, the relationship goes a little bit beyond the professional, but there's a, without giving much away about the plot, it's about um, a very interesting couple and particularly this woman who hires, uh, hires the instructor. Their relationship is, is not your normal Hollywood fair. Yeah. Although by the way, this is, it has, a, it is a film now. Oh, so okay. it's gone up a notch. But it's um, a little bit off center, to say the least. Okay, and I think you're going to love it. Meaning it's it's a it's somewhat offbeat, sure, in its approach. And this is one you don't want to miss. Okay, uh, Judy Johnson is really a, a terrific actress. She's a great director, and she's sort of a legend in the local acting community. And uh, she's a great example of you know why it's so much fun to live here because we always great talent people just don't want to leave Miss right, Megan, right? And we we reap the benefits because uh, we, we live in such an interesting town. Um, the Knickknacks, uh, who are playing uh, over at the Book Nook and Java Shop. Now, if you haven't been to the Book Nook and Java Shop, uh, this is not just a bookstore, and it's also not just an entertainment venue. It's, okay, it's uh, a good place to hang out with friends, uh, have a drink. Um, there's a nice wine bar there. Of course, um, you can have a light supper there. They, okay, they do have a you know, pretty interesting menu. Uh, it's also a very good bookstore. Uh, they've d- um, done a terrific job with this place, and, and one of the best things about it um, is that they're committed to the local music scene. Cool. So there's music uh, every weekend, and um, the group that's playing um, this weekend, the Knickknacks, uh, Jeff Lynn, Greg Lynn, and Jennifer Tam- Tamborn Lynn, are, they all have the same last name. It's kind of interesting. Um, and um, they are... Just a really interesting uh, instrumental group, string instrumental mm-hmm. vocal group. And, of course, you can uh, go to the website for the Book Nook. Um, and they also have a lot of author events, too. Okay. And uh, as a writer myself, I just enjoy browsing at that store. And uh, when you're in um, Montague and Whitehall, of course, you can go out if you want. I uh, have dinner before. If you if you want to have a, something bigger, go to the old Channel Inn. I know all about it. We got a gra- is, we got a grandson up in Montague, so right, and a, and, a, and a daughter that teaches there. So and we're a, up around Montague quite a bit. Between the Book Nook and the Hamet Playhouse, which is um, will be back in in March. Cool. Actually, they have some events in February coming up. Um, you'll you can't miss going up there. Yeah. Um, 
it's it's just a, a wonderful you know twenty minutes away from Muskegon. What kind of uh, they're a stringed instrument band? Do they are they do they play like a covers? Do they do originals? What do they do? They do a lot of covers, then they do some some original Fun. stuff. So, so you might hear, you know, um, it could be anything. Uh, I mean, their influence is Jim Croce, Cat Stevens, James Taylor. Oh, fun. So it's a really good group. Yeah. And they, they play around town. Oh, cool. And in Grand Haven and Muskegon, too. Okay. But the, this is a great venue. It's a comfortable place. Um, great place to have a glass of wine. Um, really, uh, they, they've done a great job. It's a cool hangout for, for well, let's face it, the, the over, well over 21. Group. Right. The owner's, <laughs> a, the owner's a dynamite piano player, by yeah, the way. that's cool. And uh, I've heard him solo, and he, he's absolutely terrific. Oh, fun. Uh, now, Christopher Titus, um, we're going to talk just a little bit about him. Um, he is uh, on a national tour. Um, he, he does comedy specials. His current show is called Angry Pursuit of Happiness. And um, the, the one bef- uh, you know, other shows, Normal Rockwell is Bleeding. Um, I urge your audience to go on to YouTube and have a look at him before you get in the car and spend the $25. Not that I think there's anything, uh, you know, nothing to worry about. Right. The show, it's a great show. But I just think one of the beauties of our situation is you can spend five minutes just checking out yeah. um, what, he, what he has to say. He's had a TV show. He's, he's had, had a TV uh, show. He's done comedy specials. He's, right. he's, he's a pretty well-known he's name. A pretty well-known name. Yeah. And if you haven't heard him or haven't seen him, I think the, it would be uh, – Worth the gas, okay, definitely. Um, and it's tonight. Yeah, tonight over at the the, uh, at the Wealthy Theater, which right. is a terrific. Uh, if you haven't been to the Wealthy Theater, uh, probably just go. The whole neighborhood, yeah, the whole over neighborhood in around, around there has just it's, changed so much, yeah. and it's just it's it's remarkable to see. Right now, I want to uh, recommend one event farther out. We're going to do this every week. Okay, put this on your calendar. Um, last night, I saw the Russian National Ballet. The Dogwood Theater, one of the great venues in West Michigan. Love it up there. Everything about the Dogwood is perfect. I've been on stage there, in fact. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Acoustics are there. Um, I've I've done some events there personally, and the Mm -hmm. audiences are terrific. Um, I want to tell you that uh, they're doing a uh, Canadian perform uh, team is doing a performance of the very Hungry Caterpillar and Er and other Eric Carle favorites. This is February the 8th at 3 p.m. Perfect for the kids. Um, it's a really a, a treasure this show, and um, h- highly recommended. So February eighth. I remember the book as a kid, but I don't remember much about it. Right. I, I also I have to do a little. Uh, I'll have to do a little research into what that story is about again. But I do remember that as a kid. Right. And this is a. Uh, it's a puppeteers. It's a really a. It's gotten you know just tremendous reviews, and I think it would be worth putting on your calendar. Um, you can read a little bit more about it on the website, but basically the, the story is that this is the objective of the show is to introduce very little children uh, to their first performing arts experience, and it's done a great job of encouraging literacy and love of reading. So it's equated thousands of young people in Canada uh, with these talented artists. And um, basically, if you haven't recently reread The Very Hungry Caterpillar, I think that was... One of George Bush's favorite books, as I remember. With all when the they gra- asked him his favorite books. <laughs> you that- know, with all the grandkids I've got, I've got one go-to book, and it's Richard Scarry's best story right. book ever, and I, right. I'm going to have to get a copy of The Hungry Caterpillar. Right. So it's directed and designed by one of Canada's top puppeteers. Very and, cool. And really, really cool show. So a couple of other things that I, I just want to mention. Uh, we are going to be doing these recommendations every week, and most of them will be in our in our local area. Sure. Uh, And what we're going to try to do is catch things that we think your audience really shouldn't miss. And we're fortunate in that we have these tremendous performing arts venues. And I I just want to say something about our community, the Muskegon Museum of Art, the West Michigan Symphony, all these institutions. Uh, Blue Lake in the summer, Mm -hmm. we'll get get there. Um, There are other performing arts companies in Saugatuck and so on. We're in a very rich area for Mm -hmm. the performing arts. And it's critical particularly the symphony and all these institutions um, that people recognize that we have one of the best art museums in the Midwest mm-hmm. by far. Uh, for, certainly for a city our size, it's sure. probably the best art museum for a medium sized city in, in the Midwest. I got my first tour of it back in November. Right. I, I, I've been here 15 years or so, never had a cause to go to the museum of art and I took it and I, I loved it. It was just fantastic. And anytime you go there, you're going to have a good time. Same thing. Yep. The Hackley library yep. has just been renovated. My wife is the director 
So there's full disclosure right there. Get that plug in, right? <laughs> right. We've got the Harbor now doing a lot of indie films. Yep, that's cool. You know, as well as Cinema Carousel, which is I think is making a real effort too to, to not just show the the top Hollywood films, but they're doing a lot of uh, alternate programming, which is really really good. Yep. Um, I'm going to personally be at the Harbor this weekend, okay. uh, following the 4:30 screenings of my movie Pilot Error. Oh, it's going to be showing down there. It's this showing weekend Friday, again. Saturday, and Sunday. See, because people were asking after the last time yeah. you were here if it was going to be showing again, and I wasn't too sure. But it's yeah. there this weekend. It's been brought back again. Cool. Uh, it's been extended for this weekend, so I'll be there with Craig Powers, who is our co-star from cool. Grand Haven, who plays a French airline pilot. And Craig will talk a little bit about his role in the film. And we're going to talk about Air Asia, which they just found. Uh, they're they're transcribing the black boxes. Um, unfortunately, at life imitating art. Right. Um, it's a very similar accident to the one that's that's portrayed in this wow. this film. So I'll be there after the show, and and we're going to try to make an effort uh, on these broadcasts to let the audiences know when we're going to be sure. personally there, and hopefully we can catch up with some of you and, and get your feedback and hear Absolutely. what you think pro and con everything's on the website so yep. you don't have to pull over and make notes nope. on any of this and you've done a really good job Andy of, of flagging all this that's what we do and you know we have other events calendars in Muskegon the Hackley Library has a good one of course M Live has a lot and these are very helpful uh, when you're trying to figure out but the key point that I think you know we together want to make is that the reason why all these wonderful events like the Russian Ballet last night were Wednesday night, and there were two-year-olds, you know, mm-hmm. five-year-olds who should have been home, you know, in bed. Uh, school night, parents and grandparents had them all there because right. this is the Russian ballet. It's they important. all the way from Moscow. They need to see this. They need to see this, and these kids are going to remember this for the rest of their life. They you will. Know, it's Cinderella. You know, it was a fantastic performance r- right here in our backyard. The reason why we get all these fantastic shows is because we've got great audiences here yep. in Muskegon. We really turn out in numbers. And that's why people keep coming back because they love not just the audience but also the response. The experience that we get. of it all, right? That's yeah, great. And here at this station, we just want to continue to promote share the our word. town as a great arts venue because we have a lot of artists in our community, like Max and Ruth. I mean, for free. Yep. I mean, you can't beat it. Can't beat that. Can't and it's a that. wonderful venue. I've been there for Tom Harriman uh, did a Christmas Carol there. A couple he was years here. Ago. Yeah, yeah, he was here this year. Right. I'll tell you what, we got to wrap things up, Roger. I appreciate it. Everything is up online at muskeganradio.com. Just go to the events page. It's called the Marine Tap Room, What's on Tap page, and you'll find out everything Roger recommended. You'll find ticket links. You'll find information. You'll find uh, directions to the venues, all that stuff. Roger, thanks so much for taking a little time out of your Thursday and coming in. Thanks, Andy. And uh, we look forward to hearing more from you down in the future. That's uh, we got we got to think of a title for this thing. How about What's on Tap? <laughs> we'll find out what's on tap around Muskegon with Roger Rappaport right here on Muskegon's 100.9. Roger, have a great day. Thank you.